Hi students, today we are going to see the topic about alloys and phase diagram. Myself, O Satish, Aston Professor Mechanical in Akshaya College of Engineering and Technology. Introduction Generally, a metal alloy or simply an alloy is a mixture of two or more metals or a metal and a non-metal. The element which is present in the largest proportion is called the base metal and all other elements present are called alloying element. The presence of alloying element changes the physical, chemical and mechanical properties of the base metal to a considerable extent. This shows the grain structure of a material, shape and size of the grain crystal which forms a bulk material. It is characterized by grain boundaries, grain shapes and grain size. There are different types of grain such as columnar, dendritic, equiaxid or a combination of this type. Grain types can be controlled by controlling nucleation and growth phenomena which occurs during certification of the liquid metal. To understand the microstructure of single and multiphase solid and consideration required to improve their properties by changing microstructural thermodynamics, one needs to understand the phase diagram and phase transformation. In generally system, thermodynamically a system is an isolated body of a matter which is under study. More precisely, a system can be defined as a substance or a group of substance so isolated from its surrounding that it is totally unaffected by the surrounding but changes in its overall composition, temperature, pressure or Total volume can be allowed as per the desire of the person who investigated it. A system may contain solid, liquid, gas or their combination. It may have metals or non-metals separately or in combination form. Phases A phases is a substance or a proportion of matter which is homogeneous physically distinct and mechanically separable. It is homogeneous in the sense that it, is, it two small parts cannot be distinguished from one another. Physically distinct and mechanically separable means that the phase will have a defined boundary surface. A phase can exist in three different state of vapor, liquid or solid depends upon pressure and temperature. Different phases are given different names or symbols like alpha, beta, gamma, etc. Equilibrium Equilibrium in a system is the state of minimum free energy under any specified combination of overall composition, temperature, pressure and overall volume. Once equilibrium is achieved, even a minor change in their parameters of composition, temperature, pressure, volume or state of any substance which in the system means an increase in free energy. Degree of freedom. It is also known as variance of system. It is defined as a number of external or internal factors of the system that can be independently changed without altering equilibrium that is without causing disappearance of the phase or formation of a new phase in the system. Structural constituent Phase distribution in a system is not necessary uniform throughout the structure. These phases are associated in different way to form the structure. This association of phases is recognizable. Distinct fashion is referred to as structural constant of the alloy. Here we can able to see one cooling curve 
as an example differentiate between the time versus temperature a method to determine the temperature at which phases changes liquid to solid or solid to liquid occurs in an alloy system consisting of the following temperature as a function of time as different alloys in the system are very slowly cooled the data obtained in the manner forms a cooling curve for each of the alloy in this phase diagram we can able to see the time temperature difference of the series of cooling curves for different alloys in a completely soluble system both in liquid and solid state here a represents percentage a and percentage b once here 180 60 40 20 10 in another percentage b 0 20 40 60 80 100 this creates a phase diagram of a two metal completely as a solid solution alpha solidious line in the red color black color liquidious line above the region liquid solution in between the curve which creates a path which is in a form of liquid plus solid solution alpha interpretation of phase diagram here we can see a picture as we see in this previous phase diagram here the following three conclusions are the rules necessary for the interpreting phase diagrams the phase that are present the chemical composition of each phase the lever rule the amount of each phase gibbs phase rule also one of the important consideration while we are studying about the phase diagram gibbs phase rule establishes the relationship between the number of degree of freedom the number of component the number of phase p plus f is equal to c plus 2 classification of equilibrium diagram equilibrium diagram may be classified according to the relationship of the component in the liquid and solid state as follows components completely soluble in the solid state components particularly soluble in the liquid state components completely insoluble in the liquid state and completely insoluble in the solid state two metals completely soluble in the liquid and solid state here we can able to see bismuth as a example here it creates a liquid and solid region when heating the particular metal uridic system in an uridic reaction when a liquid solution of fixed composition solidifies at a constant temperature forms a mixture of two or more solid phase without an intermediate phase t stage this process reverses on heating liquid when we are heating two solid regions we get again when we are cooling it we are getting the same as a reverse in this uridic system there is always a specific alloy known as uridic composition that freezes at lower temperature than all other compositions here we are going to see bismuth cadmium equilibrium diagram in this picture we can able to see different phases creates a different structures that having different forms when we are doing the different percentages of the variations by heating two metal completely soluble in the liquid state by completely insoluble in the solid state the uridic system there is always a specific alloy known as uridic composition that freezes at a lower temperature than all other compositions the tin and lead equilibrium diagram tin will dissolve up to maximum of 2.6 percentage pb at uridic temperature forming the solid solution alpha lead will dissolve up to maximum of 100 to 
that is 19.5 percentage tin at the eutectic temperature gives the solid solution beta slope of b a and c d indicates the solubility of pb in sn alpha and that of sn in pb beta decreases as temperature falls this picture clearly shows the tin lead equilibrium diagram how the chemical compositions vary by percentage variations and temperature variations we are getting a different forms here two metals completely soluble in liquid state but only partially soluble in solid state periodic reaction in this picture we can able to see as a example of platinum silver equilibrium diagram here silver keeps on increasing the percentage from 0 to 100 platinum from 100 to 0 whenever the temperature variations occur the periodic reactions gives the results of different structure formations of the gamma alpha and delta reactions eutectoid reaction unlike eutectic and periodic transformation eutectoid involves a solid to solid transformation eutectoid reaction is a isothermal reversible reaction in which one solid phase transforms into two intimately mixed new solid phase upon cooling one solid is in a reversible formation of giving another two types of solids in this image we can able to see the eutectoid reaction gives two different phases of alpha plus beta mixture eutectoid reaction eutectoid reaction is a isothermally reversible reaction in which two solid phases transforms into a third solid phase upon cooling here two solid phases gives a another type of third solid this is a predictoid upside down eutectoid predictoid system are found in ni zn combo fn nb combo cu sn combo ni mo combo and many other system for examples today we discussed about phase diagrams different structures and formations thank you